the MS-80 from Bicepart, the tyre fitting machine for changing tyres of any trucks, from lightweights to earth-moving giants. Suitable for wheels up to about 3 metres diameter and weighing 2.2 tonnes. Controls. Controlling the MS-80 is quite simple and all controls are laid out neatly. All operations are controlled by four manual elements and two pedals. The function of each control is identified by labels on the control unit. Besides, the machine can be stopped at any time by the red emergency stop button on top of the control unit. Removal of a tubeless tyre. The wheel is positioned on the platform of the MS-80. For safety reasons, large wheels should be handled by more than one person. The wheel is clamped to the supporting beam by opening the clamps. After removal of the valve, the tyre must deflate completely. First, the position of the rim and the assembly tool should be arranged such that the bead breaking roller runs about tangentially to the rim flange. For breaking the bead, the assembly arm is lowered, pushed, rolled forward between the rim flange and the tyre, turning the wheel with the pedal. The assembly arm is moved forward and the same procedure repeated with the front rim flange. Lubricant is applied to the tyre and rim to improve sliding. Now the assembly finger is inserted between the bead and the rim and the tyre pre-tensioned somewhat. By stepping on the pedal, the wheel is moved clockwise and the front tyre bead pulled over the rim flange with a demounting lever. Important, the bead must be in the drop centre of the rim on the opposite side. After removing the front bead, the assembly arm is moved to the rear and the assembly finger inserted between the rear tyre beard and the front rim flange. Engaging the fitting arm and turning the wheel anti-clockwise, the tyre is removed completely. 
care should be exercised because the tyre can drop forward when it is removed. It's recommended to remove tyres of large wheels as near the front edge of the machine as possible to avoid tilting. For this purpose, the assembly slide and the supporting beam can be moved separately after reversing a lever at the hydraulic unit. Assembly. To clamp the rim, the supporting beam is moved in the rim and the six claw coupling opened. Now the supporting beam with the rim is lifted a little. For assembly, a rim clamp is attached to the outer rim flange, tightened and moved to nine o'clock position. Lubricant is applied to the rim and the tyre to improve sliding. Now the tyre is rolled in front of the rim, tilted back and the rim turned clockwise until the clamp engages the tyre. By lifting the supporting beam, the rear tyre bead slips over the front rim flange. This may have to be assisted by the assembly arm. When the tyre is fixed, the rim clamp can be changed to the underside. The assembly finger is now placed behind the rim flange. By turning the wheel anti-clockwise, the outer tyre bead is also pressed fully behind the rim flange. Important, the bead must be in the drop centre of the rim on the opposite side. Now the valve can be installed. Caution, do not inflate the tyre on the machine. Always inflate it in an approved tyre inflation cage. After the tyre has been moved to the correct position, the supporting beam can be lowered and the clamps closed. Important, do not roll a large wheel from the machine alone.